I am back. LTL Editorial News Broadcasting from the Nuki Kenya. And finally, Kenyan 2004 Nobel Peace Prize winner, Dr. Wangari Mathai, will be cremated at a crematorium Saturday. She want to be placed at an area of they call it the Democratic uh, Park over there. And as her friend Evelyn Wambui was telling the media I'm half and half about it, or like we say in Kenya, 50-50 about it. I understand she's about environment, and she did not want to be put in a wooden casket, because she's against those who use timber or wood. But has anybody talked to Europe or United States about sending or making a casket? Because in America, like they did for Michael Jackson, a golden casket, it was not made out of wood. They could have just went on ahead and send Kenya a casket. It does not cost that much for the traveling and for her she deserved a restful spot. Not to be burned and cremated to set up a nice casket to put it in a memorial park or uh, area where they call it the democratic area uh, service area I think it was uh, Wangari area Matai area and so where everybody comes and see they could set that up and set up uh, a nice storyline and frame it it would be very nice. Not in a cre uh, cremated and then put her in a vase or I don't know what they're going to put her in. Her ashes. Because they may not be uh, careful with the ashes. Some of them might spill out. God forbid. And then what about America? You know those icons of Danny Glover, Oprah Winfrey, the Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton, plus the President of the United States, Barack Obama? Could they just put her, you know, be able to just send at a, a nice casket for her? They can do it. It would not cost that much. They got money. They got billions and millions and billions of dollars. What is it? Economic is so bad in all over the world that they have to hold on to their money. Does he is she worth that price? Plus, when back in the days when the Kenyan government was attacking Dr. Matai because she was for trees and planting environment 
and had a group for it and they tried to stop her, attack her, was beating her down with timber. Now, when she dies, people want to get together and say, let's make 5,000, plant 5,000 trees. You know, there's a saying, give a rose while they are living. Help them while they are alive. Not when they're dead and then you're trying to make up. Already the environment is gone to race in Kenya. Tourism gone bad. Oh, lose flash. Um, what's going on in the Indian Ocean by Kenya? They happen to shut down the borders to Somalia based on the kidnap, kidnapping of a French tourist. And she was in a wheelchair. Oh my God. But anyway, does Dr. Madaya deserve the recognition while she was alive? Then you have to wait till she's dead. And then now you want to promise to have 5,000 trees planted. Who's going to keep account of how many trees was planted? Are they going to get an accountant? Don't you know an accountant, they want money too, so they can eat, put food in their belly? Well, God opened heaven's gate for Dr. Matai. She deserved it. She was also telling about uh, the tree, the God your tree, God's tree. But when people want to chop that tree, the kings want to chop that tree so they can make something out of it, make beds or whatever they want to make out of it so they can have money and put food in their belly. They killed the land. My friend always said, when you kill a tree, the tree kill you. This is LTL and the LTL Editorial News for October 4th, 2011. Sunny!